The Ueji were an ancient nomadic group of people from Central Asia who spoke an Indo-European language. It is likely that most people today are unfamiliar with the Ueji civilization. As they were nomads, the Ueji are best known for their migration westward, which had a chain reaction on the other civilizations in that region. The main sources of information regarding the Ueji are ancient Chinese records. Nevertheless, they have also been mentioned by some Western sources, and some of the coins minted by Ueji rulers have survived. The Ueji homeland. According to Sima Zhang Qin Shirji, known also as the records of the great historian, which was completed towards the end of the second century BC, the Ueji were originally from the area between the Chilean mountains and Dunhuang. In other words, the Ueji originated in the area which is now the Chinese province of Gansu. An alternate interpretation of the text suggests that the Chilean mountains may be a reference to the Tian Shan instead, as it has been speculated that the Chinese name of the mountain, i.e. Tian Shan, was derived from its name in the Xionu language, i.e. Chilean. Based on this interpretation, the Ueji are placed further west in the northern part of modern Xinjiang. Another theory, based on older Chinese sources, suggests that the Ueji were originally from present-day Mongolia and only migrated to Dunhuang, either in Gansu or Xinjiang, later on. A series of battles for the nomads. Regardless of where the Ueji originated from, it is agreed that they were defeated by the Xionu, another nomadic tribe, during the 2nd century BC, and were forced to migrate to the west. The Ueji were then forced to migrate again, this time to the south, when they were attacked by the Wusun. Traveling south, the Ueji encountered the Greco-Bactrian kingdom and defeated them, an event that was recorded not only in the ancient Chinese sources, but also by the Greek geographer Strabo. In the ancient Chinese sources, the Greco-Bactrian kingdom is referred to as Dacia. Dacia. According to the Shurji, this country was located over 2,000 li, 1,000 kilometers per 621.4 miles, to the southwest of the Yuendian, located in the Fergana Valley, and to the south of the Guayi Oxus River. In addition to Sima Qin's work, the invasion of the Greco-Bactrian Kingdom can also be found in a 5th century AD piece of work known as the Ho Han Shu, also known as the Book of the Later Han. Tomb, out of place in time, the stunning ancient tattoos of the Pazaric nomads. Both these ancient Chinese sources agree that the Ueji defeated Dacia. According to the Shurji, the Ueji established a royal court on the northern bank of the Guay River after attacking Dacia. According to the Ho Han Shu, the Ueji divided Dacia between five Shiho, Shiho, allied princes. In comparison, Strabo depicts the Ueji as a Scythian tribe. Now the greater part of the Scythians, beginning at the Caspian Sea, are called Dei, but those who are situated more to the east than these are named Masajde and Sekai, whereas all the rest given the general name of Scythians, though each people is given a separate name of its own. They all are for the most part nomads, but the best known of the nomads are those who took away Bactriana from the Greeks. I mean the Asii, Passiani, Tokari, and Sakarali, who originally came from the country on the other side of the Iaxarch River that adjoins that of the Sekai and the Sogdiani and was occupied by the Sekai. Changes to a sedentary lifestyle and new empire. Following the conquest of the Greco-Bactrian Kingdom, the Ueji abandoned their nomadic lifestyle and became sedentary. Additionally, they adopted a Hellenized way of life, preserved their predecessors' agricultural and trading systems, and began using the Greek alphabet as well as minting coins in the Greco-Bactrian style. The Ho Han Shu says that the Ueji came to an end more than a hundred years after their conquest of the Greco-Bactrian Kingdom, around 30 BC when one of the Shiho conquered his four co-confederates. The unified Ueji state then extended its borders by invading such surrounding areas as Anxi, Parthia, Gaofu, the Kabul region, and Tianju, northwestern India. This resulted in the birth of the Kushan Empire, which existed until the 4th century AD. Featured image. Foreground stone palette.